Hi guys, how's everybody today? Um, I'm doing good. I um, kind of got a sore throat last night. It's starting to feel a little bit better, um, but for the most part, I'm good. I'm just returning back to work from the Christmas break. I don't normally get days off unless it's a holiday, so I definitely try to take advantage of that. Um, excuse me and how I'm looking. One thing you'll learn if you start following my page, um, I'm as real as it gets. Um, I'm not trying to sugarcoat nothing. I'm not trying to do anything to impress anybody. Um, and not to come off rude, but I am who I am. I am putting some spring twists in my hair. I'm almost done, but between trying to do my hair and to Christmas shop and cook, like, I just had a lot going on. Um, but anyhow, I closed early Thursday. I just returned back to work today, which is Sunday. And I'm wanting to do like a little mini series on starting a beauty supply store. Um, I want you guys to kind of watch me grow in my journey. Um, I started a beauty supply store, I think March 15th of 2014 or 2015, I no longer have that beauty supply store just because at the time it was bad timing. Business was definitely good. Um, but I had a boyfriend who was diagnosed with MS and he was having to relearn his body, how to teach himself, how to move his legs and a lot of doctor's appointments and things like that. So it was just kind of hard for me to give 110% in my business and to help take care of him. Um, He's definitely doing better and is able to do a lot more things that he couldn't do then. He doesn't walk, but he's able to manage and we have a little bit more help in the house. So I reopened this store September 27th. Today is December the 27th, um, but I've had this store for about a little, about four years or a little bit over. Um and i kind of closed i opened up for about a year or so i ended up closing because i had to get a new gas line a new water line um and i thought about possibly letting it go but decided to keep it and so here we are um everything that i had in here at that time i clearanced out sold for a little bit of nothing um just to start over so what you're seeing with me is me starting over the new process um, this is a smaller building. My first building, I, my rent was about 900 or 950 a month. That's with bills and everything not included, but yeah, it, it, it costs a pretty good penny. Um, but business definitely was good. Like I said, it just was bad timing for me. It was a very good location. I was on a busy street. I was next to a family dollar. So I had a lot of ethnicities that came to shop and i also do here um this building is smaller um definitely way cheaper um than the first one uh i definitely need more room um but i will get there i'm definitely not trying to rush it um because you'd rather start out small than and go bigger than to start out big and go, have to go smaller um, during this journey, I just want you to learn more about me, um, my process into learning what to do, how to go about finding vendors and everything. Um, and I will help with vendors, um, but I will not be just giving you all the vendors. I will charge for a small fee. Or depending on what number of vendors you would like to um, know. Now, I might give you a vendor here or there for free, um, but we'll talk about it more when we get there. Um, I just want to take a little time and walk you around my store. You will see some empty shelves um, because I'm getting things in. Some things have sold and I need to restock. 
um, but we just came out of Christmas and we're going into the new year. I will be closing for, I think, New Year's Eve and I will be going out of town. I have some new product already coming in. And then I'm going to go get more product that I will be putting out um, after the New Year's. And I'm sorry if you see me looking around and stuff. Um, I try to watch the door and see if I see people coming. And just watching my surroundings in the area that I am. Not to just say that it's dangerous, but uh, I'm the only one here today in the shopping center. And every now and then we do get people who are strays walk in from town to town and just things like that. But, um, but yeah, just everything that is out will be stocked. Um, and then some of the merchandise that I do have, anything that you, sometimes you have things that are slow sellers. And then some things that just aren't moving at all. You definitely want to try to make your money back. Um, at least make back what you paid for it. Go ahead and mark it down. Get it out. Just to get so you don't take a loss. Sometimes you will take losses. Um, it's just all a part of a business, you know. But on, um, but at the end of it all, you want you want to have a gain. Um, it's normal to have a business and take a loss in your first year, first couple of years, um, to just really start seeing money. But as we all know, if you know about hair and things like that. Hair will always sell. Hair is always going to be around. You have people who have alopecia, people who don't have edges, people who are just struggling in that area who are always going to need a wig or some hair. So that's one good thing about the hair business is that it is always booming. I'm open seven days a week at my shop. Um, on Sundays, I'm only open from nine to two. Monday through Thursday, I'm open from 10 to 7. On Fridays and Saturdays, I'm open from 9 to 8. Um, I open from 9 to 8 on Saturdays because other beauty supply stores that we have here, they close at 7. So I'm always the extra person if you're just getting off or if you're running behind getting to the hair store. I'm always that option that's open. And on Sundays, most beauty supplies are not open. So that gives me that that gives me um you another option to come to me because I am open. Even though I don't have everything, I do try to carry um some of the most needed things. Um but I'm open from nine to two on Sundays, which I get off early enough to still go home, clean, have some time with my family and stuff. But you don't have to be open on those days. You make your own hours that's one of the good things about working for yourself but behind me you can see some braiding hair i'm going to turn this around and i'm going to walk you around the store and i'm sorry forgive me because i feel a little snuffy here is where we have set up um Two, two small stations. There are two braiders. It is me and I have another braider. Um, we do do a lot of hair in here. Um, we do get walk-ins. That's our TV for the people to watch. Here I have my braiding hair. And starting out, um, you can get um, like the wood panels and things like that. But just starting out to be cheaper and things like that, I just got pegboards, the heavy-duty pegboard. Then I had a guy come and put the um, the wood up. Um, I think I did this side, though, myself. Some of them he did, but I went and added more. But I just added pegboard. See if I can make this a little smaller. But yeah, I added pegboard. Um... I went and bought pegs because you're definitely going to need pegs that's going to hold your your um your merchandise along this wall we have braiding hair you definitely want to op um, offer them a lot of colors um, some of the very big sellers are the um, the big packs of hair um, plus it's cheaper then getting the single bundles um i'm out of some but 
definitely will be having that restocked. And usually I'm really good about um, restocking. But since we've been out for Christmas and things like that, um, most vendors aren't going to be open. This is my wig section. And of course I want this to grow and be bigger. Um, but that will definitely be part of my growth. I offer more wigs than what are on display, but I only have so many um, mannequin heads. Here's the other side. But braiding hair and wigs are definitely some of the number one sellers. I try not to let anybody try on any wigs during COVID. Um, just for health reasons. Over here, I try to keep the crochet. And I will have new crochet coming in. Um, you always want to see what's popping. You know, um, people are into the butterfly locks right now. So, water wave is definitely in. Free Tress is definitely in. I was one of the first stores before I closed that offered the Free Tress here. And then when the other beauty supply stores started carrying it, when I opened back up, I wasn't pushing the issue. But I will definitely be getting it back in because I've had a lot of requests for it. Um, they do offer a lot of options. Hair bows, of course. Dollar items. These you will buy and you will get um, at least a dozen in a pack um, to two dozen. You're going to just about triple your money with hair bows. Good way to bring a good source of money um, and revenue for your company. Hair beads, all that good stuff. You always want to offer different combs, stocking caps, edge brushes, um, which are in now before we use two brushes, um, your crochet needles, sewing needles, wig caps. I did used to have um, a lot, a lot of. I'm back, you guys. Somehow, um, I cut the video by trying to turn my volume up, so I apologize. So, um, But I definitely um, used to offer a lot more men items. Um, I, I got a few men in that wanted braids and stuff like that. I wasn't def um, definitely wasn't like, like I had a bunch of men customers like I did for the women. But you want to... Um, carry you know some stocking caps do rags and things because they do come in for it um here rubber bands um little buns and stuff sponges razors um I am just now starting to get in some of the hot hot items, flat irons and things. Um, that was some of my old stuff that I've sold. I just got one left. Um, but I'm definitely getting this stuff in. Um, lip glosses and things. Other do dollar items. Um, quick grabs and stuff. Eyebrow razors. I do try to support um, black hair companies. She is bomb. Is definitely a good line, a great line um, for four C hair, all types of hair, but definitely four C hair because you always see a lot of four C people who are looking for edge control that helps. Um, you definitely want to have like deep waves, straight hair, tracks, synthetic because everybody doesn't want to buy. Um, human hair everybody's not on that budget you know so you definitely want to try to offer um, a product for everybody even if it's a slow seller trust me it will sell
little jewelry, more dollar items, quick grabs. Um, some of the long hair has been in um, for people who like the ponytails. These little dump buckets I have, um, this used to be a lot of the old items that I had, and I have two of these dump buckets. One is here, and one is there, and I um, normally keep these outside, um, but when the weather got cold or was raining or snowing I just been leaving them in and I plan on getting more grid panels um, to run here um, just to be able to add more product I'm starting to get in my wet products greases and things I got rid of all the old and I'm starting a new you definitely want to carry um, a lot of edge control options a lot of at least if you're a smaller um, beauty supply starting out small at least offer about five good options of edge controls because people want um, options what works for one might not work for all And just because they come out with all this new fancy stuff, trust me, there are a lot of people who still love to use the old product, old things that worked. Um, ponytails. You definitely want to have options of ponytails. I definitely have to get more ponytails in. Um, I got to get more variety because um, I definitely have people who call for the ponytails. More crochet. This is my sink for washing hair. More crochet. These are the old school crochets, um, but trust me, there are still people who love them. They're hard to find. Cheaper options of hair. $9.99 for a full pack that does your hair. People love stuff like that. When you're just on a budget, need something quick, might not be a long-term thing. Um, you want options of that. 27 pieces and things those are still very popular um, I will be getting more um, I got rid of all the old um, short hair is very popular red burgundies blondes blacks um, number 30 those are really really popular micro braiding hair whether you use it for micro braids, tree braids, or some of the goddess uh, braids. Um, spring twist hair, kinky hair. Um, I also try to offer snacks. Because, of course, since we do hair, you have people who sit for a while. They're going to get hungry. You want to be able to have options for them drinks my dryer my register um one good thing that is good to carry is body jewelry um we always get people coming in we just got these in uh people coming in asking if we have body jewelry and we just sell it for the low um some of the human hair and bundles I definitely need more space guys I'm not in denial about that I've been getting stuff in I got a lot of boxes that I need to break down but I was holding on to them because we have people who are moving and need boxes um, but this is just some of the overstock because because my closet um, that all of my overstock is in is full it's boxes all up and through there so you definitely want your eyelashes. Um, these are another number one seller. 
so I definitely have to stock up because I'm sold out um, we will be filling this up um, after the new year my bathroom um, my refrigerator I'm gonna need to kind of stock that with some more water and things more options of braiding hair little kids braiding hair which is really good because you get the short hair for the little kids instead of having to get the long hair and cut it and re pre stretch it um, just grab it and go keep pushing um, more bundles hair accessories um, because people definitely like to dress up their their braids little things like this when you go to the hair vendors like this takes a little bit of your money it doesn't it doesn't put a big dent in it um, you can get a dozen of these for like six dollars and fifty cents and then just look how many are on there and you sell them for a dollar or a dollar twenty five and you're definitely going to make your money back um since i'm just a smaller store i try to carry a few ones um certain colors that i know i'm going to sell and then at least one of the other because it takes two to three days to get hair from your vendors so anything else can always be replaced but you don't want to sit on a bunch of stuff that's not going to sell kind of what when you see what your customers like what they're into it better helps you um place your orders One of the things that helps really good with us um, and any beauty supply, if you can add a salon part to it, um, that brings in a lot of good money. It brings in a lot of good money um, to your place. You know, um, they're basically paying for your labor. That's extra money that you can use to, I'm trying to get that glare out of there that's definitely extra money that you can use towards ordering hair getting product in um just during the week and stuff i'm gonna make over a thousand dollars just doing hair you know even if it's a slow day with selling hair um the money is definitely always going to be made doing hair and when you're a beauty supply and you do hair or you have people in your shop that do hair guess what you're gonna sell hair they're gonna sell hair to their customers so it always brings more money and it brings a sale that doesn't even include your booth fee you know what you're charging to rent out the booths um, so that's just a good thing to have um, But as we go on, um, we'll definitely talk about um, some of the key things to have upon opening. Um, guys, excuse how I look. Um, like I said, I'm doing um, me some spring twist. I just haven't got my hair finished because I started. I had to finish Christmas shopping because I, I didn't, um, I worked. So I didn't just have days to go and Christmas shop. And um, I kind of had to do last minute. Then I had to cook. <laughs> and um, then trying to do my hair and stuff like that. So I just have like a little section up in here that I will have done today. But some days you'll see me looking like this. Um, some days when you're doing a lot of hair and things like that, you just don't always have the time to just make yourself look beautiful. 
I don't make a big deal when a person sees me look rough. Um, you could talk about me all you want. I don't trip because I know what I look like when I got it together. Um, so it is what it is, you know. Some people always feel like they got to look good or a beauty queen and stuff. Like sometimes it's just, it's not that, you know. Um, especially the days that I'm coming in and I got boxes coming in. Those boxes are dusty. Um, you're going to mess up your clothes. You're going to have dust here and there. I got to climb in a chair to hang hair or whatever, what have you, you know. So it's not always about trying to be pretty. You know, I'm trying to make some money. I'm trying to help you guys make some money. Um, but yeah, this is me. Um, my store is called Body and Soul Hair Supply. I honestly can't tell you how I got the name, <laughs> how I came up with the name. Um, I named it that years ago. But um, just looking beautiful, um, getting your hair done, finding hair, transforming yourself. Um, just makes you good, feel good. Um, body and soul. From the outside to the inside. Um, your name, I guess, would come from, you know, from within, you know. I took a while, but that's what I came to. And then we also have our radio, radio stations. They always say, body and soul. So when I hear them nowadays, you know, it kind of reminds me of Body and Soul Hair Supply, even though they're not talking about me. <laughs> but, um, yeah, guys, this is, this is what it is. Um, I definitely didn't have any help. Um, I just did research. I'm kind of one of those people, you know, people sit around and they're trying to think of, mm, how can I make money? I want to make some money. So I started doing hair when I was 11. Um, I, I learned how to do hair by doing my own hair. And then I started getting customers based off of them seeing my hair inquiring and then me telling them that I did it. And then that's how I built up clientele. So I was 11, but I had money, you know, just because I had a hustle about me. So I was already into the hair and everything. So just years later that I decided to open a beauty supply and um, it's not it's not easy you know what I'm saying but it's not impossible um, you just have to step out there on a limb you know and of course like most things when you're starting something from scratch you know you're going to feel the butterflies. You're going to feel nervous. You're going to feel scared. But you got to push through all of that. There's days that you want to give up. There's days that you think, oh, this is just too much. Um, but trust me, it's just all the stress of watching it all come together. Um, I remember when I opened my first store, I think I was a little bit late opening up at the time I was supposed to because I was super duper nervous. I just was really nervous. Like, I didn't think too much about it at first, but when it was time, as I was standing inside of uh, my shop, like I just started getting butterflies. Like I, like I started feeling like sick. Like I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this. And there were just people standing outside looking through the window. So, you know, I had to go and turn the lock. And once they started coming in and looking, you get your first sale, man, it just, it, it goes right on out the window. It's, it's normal to feel nervous. It's it's normal to wonder, will they like what I got? Will they support me? It's normal. But even when they support you, you still got to support yourself. You got to still sell yourself. Um, just because you've opened the doors, don't think that um, like everything is done. No, you can. you have to continue to spread the word about you you know you're going to be your top salesperson um because nobody's going to care about your business like you do you know yeah of course word of mouth and things like that will work um but you still 
have to sell yourself. You know, you still have to make your business the best that it can be. Get on Facebook, post. Get on the buy, sell, trades, sales, and post. Make flyers. Go to the salons. If they're closed, tape it to the door. Go to apartments. Tape it by the mailboxes, on the dumpsters. Go to laundromats. Stick it on the little little boards that they have. Uh, go to the stores. If they have those boards, put it up. You know, Put it on ice machines at your little convenience stores in your hood. Um, when you're celebrating Juneteenth, make flyers. Go down there and post them, you know. Uh, let them know about your business, what you sell, your hours, uh, all the services that you offer. Um, you you always want to sell yourself. Always. Like, let people know what you got going on, you know. Um, put flyers on the car windows walk through walmart pass out flyers definitely to people that you think would be interested and some people that you wouldn't think would be interested because you'll be surprised it's not just black people that wear hair the mexicans wear it the whites wear it whites i'm gonna tell you right now they love ponytails they love tape in extensions um they love bundles same thing for mexicans they love ponytails um they love sew-ins these people um micro links all that stuff they wear hair just like we do you know and you'll be surprised the amount of money that they'll spend when they come through that door you know good service is a plus you know when you make a person feel a certain type of way when i have people that come in here that i've never met and they schedule an appointment um to get their hair done there's just something about this little place that makes them feel like they're at home we engage them in conversation we watch movies on netflix um we just talk and it's like i always have people <laughs> tell me how they enjoyed it it's like we've known each other for forever and that makes you feel good because guess what they're going to come back they're going to tell somebody about you um and it feels good when they tag you on facebook because they love their hair or they bought a product from you that was wonderful um that all makes that all makes you feel good um that for anybody else who notices that post you know it makes them want to come and check you out it doesn't matter for persons being nosy the nosies count i don't care if if we fought back in the days if we were beefing and stuff you know what i'm saying like we're grown now we're, i'm not on all that childish behavior i give everybody that walks through my door the same respect a hello and a thank you when they leave you know, if I have new products come in or um, I see them looking around for something and I might not have it, if they let me know, I'll tell them that I could get it in, um, when I can get it in. But I always try to update them on things just because when you're smaller, just because I don't have it doesn't mean that I won't have it. You know, um, I try to get products in every week, whether it's hair or hair accessories or wigs. Uh, I try to get something in every, every week. Um, and sometimes a few times a week you always want to sell yourself um but yeah guys that i think that will be all for today i don't want to overwhelm you guys um but definitely come back and check me out um i'm gonna try to get my stand in here i do have a camera that i have bought and my lens kind of broke so it's it it's not sitting up inside of the lens case so i'm on my phone and um i don't i'm not an iphone person um i just got my samsung galaxy but hey it costs just as much as an iphone um but i'm definitely going to try to get better uh quality camera um and i'm definitely going to try to keep you guys posted i do do a lot of hair um, Sundays are kind of my chill days or I usually take in only one appointment because I close early um, but since I just came back it is kind of slow I've had only one customer today but guess what some days I might open and it could be a slow day and I'll have somebody come in here and spend two or three hundred dollars you know and it might only be one or two people that and it just makes your day you know so um, but definitely come back and check me out um if you have any questions leave them in the comment section 
and I will definitely get to you. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you, guys.